could potentially hurt our state's fishing economy. Advocates say the evidence is in the numbers. In 2017 alone, about 4,000 fishermen obtained commercial fishermen's licenses, but didn't sell to a seafood dealer to help ensure a fair market. A meeting was held today to try to determine who can get a commercial fisherman's license. WNCT's Elizabeth Tu spoke with some fishermen today to get their take. At its meeting, the commission approved a preliminary list of guidelines for defining a commercial fisherman. The three main criteria, 50% earned income from fishing, three dozen trip tickets per year, and proof of income of a commercial business of $10,000 per year per crew. The issue has been hotly debated for many years. In 2010, the Commercial Fishing License Review Task Force determined no changes were needed to the existing definition, but it's being talked about now because less than half of the licenses are actually being used to sell uh, seafood, which has kind of brought people, the Marine Fisheries Commission and others, to ask why aren't these licenses being used. Captain LaRoyal Gould is both a commercial and recreational fisherman. He uses his license to keep his operation going, but not all the time. But somebody that's just sitting there on it, not using it, not adding to the, the statistical betterment of the of the fisheries, well, they need, need to either give them up, sell them, or, or turn them in. Advocacy groups like the NC Marine Fisheries Association said in a statement that, quote, there are much more important issues than to further restrict those who make a living on the water. The three-person committee also approved two additional defining characteristics. Inactive scuffles that don't meet the main criteria for three years will go into a special pool. The licenses may be reissued to owners only once, and heritage licenses can be issued to a family member one time without entering the eligibility pool. Nothing from today is edged in stone. It is subject to further discussion by both the commission and the public. In Carteret County, Elizabeth Hugh, 9 on your side.